Nevada King had some results. They are off to the northwest from the pit. Uh, in this image here, you can see the pit boundary with the little hatchers. It's off to the northwest in an area that's seen some drilling, but it it's targeting some high grade. And one of the things they've learned here is that there are certain structures that apparently fed the fluids or whatever. They generate high grade results. And in this case, they got 4.51 gram per ton gold over 86 meters and 7.77 gram over 43 meters. Holy guacamole. Those are killer results, killer results. It's all oxide, meaning it's going to be uh, readily cyanide leachable, la, la, la. This is wonderful stuff. Okay, let's look at it in cross-section. Next slide. Sorry. Uh, there we go. So you can see we're looking through a, a pretty wide swath of drill holes, but you can see they've got some vert near vertical structures there where they've hit these high grades, and the company has literally you know, tuned in to identify those. Why? Because if you drill those areas and you hit high grade, you can better assess in your resource estimate how much influence that high grade has. Uh, when you're doing a model, um, if you can understand where that high grade is and where most of the gold is, quite frankly, all the better. Okay, Because it means your, your model is going to be better and it's likely going to generate a lot more gold for you. So, yes, these are great numbers. They're infill, but they're very meaningful. 